Hello, you're welcome to another episode of News Focus. I am Emmanuel Abia, of course, your host. Now let's get on with it. The Nigerian Senate has passed for second reading the 2024 appropriation bill and suspended plenary for two weeks to enable it engage Nigerian officials for the budget's defense. Deputy President of the Senate, Barao Jibrin, announced at the end of the budget uh, debate on Friday, according to him, the plenary has been adjourned to December 12. The Deputy President of the Senate referred the bill of 27.50 trillion for the year 2024 to the committees on appropriation to spread the budgets across the standing committees for the Chamber for Ministries departments and agencies to appear before them and defend their 2023 budget performance and proposal for the next fiscal year. Joining us online uh, on News Focus today is Dr. Adeyemi Okpeoluwa, who is the Deputy Director and Ed Business Development Institute of Public Analyst of Nigeria. Welcome, doctor, to the show. Okay, so uh, there, there is a proposed plan to fix the... Uh, crude oil prices to $77.96 uh, uh, and also a projected economic growth of 3.8% and, and so on, you know, Naira to be pegged at $7.50 to a dollar and all of that. Do you see this achievable, uh, of course, by, by the end of 2024 or at some point in 2024 through this budget? factors or actors that um, um, act against tensions. One of them is that um, crude oil prices cannot be financed like alone. Um, it's, it's, it's an agglomeration of different countries fixing the price that is OPEC in, in particular. So if OPEC decides that, okay, we need to reduce the amount of crude oil, um, then the prices go up uh, based on my economic of and demand. If, for example, they decide that they need to bring the price down, then they allow their member countries to produce more crude oil. Uh, in, with respect to pegging of the US dollar to uh, the Nigerian, uh, it's been you know, for so many years. Uh, the CBN has been somehow behind the scenes supporting the Naira by paying the difference in the value which we buy in the market and um, what the Naira value actually is. Um, we do not have enough reserve anymore to do this. So we necessarily cannot peg uh, the value of the dollar to the Naira. And that's why the Tinubu government decided that market forces will decide what the value of the Naira is or will be against the US dollar particularly. Um, let's not forget simple and important principle of um, supply. If we are not supplying to the global market and any foreign exchange, then necessarily uh, va the value of our currency uh, will weaken because we are, we are importing more. Basically, now we import-based economy. We are not really exporting so much. If we would upend this and become a net exporter rather than a net importer, then basically the strength of the Naira would, would be short of, like we have in 1960s, 70s, and 80s, before we started having the downturn after the IMF then, SAP adjustment, the structural adjustment program of 1985 and 1986, uh, which grossly affected our currency to import machines, machineries, capital, capital tools for us to begin to produce capital products or exports. Um, that policy at that time during the or particularly, I'm sorry, uh, Baba Gida's administration was faulty. It wasn't the best step for Nigeria to take. We were premature to devalue our currency at that time. And this has affected us and it's still affecting us to today. But however, this current budget uh, seeks to begin to mitigate the past mistakes. And I only hope that uh, through fiscal discipline, um, right, we said, uh, let's waste it. Um, we will begin to see some changes now, both in macroeconomics and microeconomics indices of the country. Ultimately, it will affect our GDP, uh, like uh, 
it's been predicted, but that I cannot say for now until we see those discipline, those um, spending, um, I would say, um, nature uh, observed in the course of the new year. We see where government is spending it. If it's basically on capital projects, and that will improve employment and improve the value of commercial activities within the country, then we can begin to say, yes, we are within the whole that is safety and peace.